Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and today I will be showing you how to get unlimited werewolf transformations. That is, the ability to turn into a werewolf whenever you want, however many times you want, as well as some uh, important and useful tips and tricks uh, for being a werewolf in combat to make the most of their pretty insane powers. So, uh, this ring, or this, this quest you can do to get unlimited werewolf powers, I'm, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if you, uh, don't need to be a werewolf or not to use it when I got it I was already a werewolf I feel like you could probably do it and not be a werewolf and maybe still turn into one but if you get the ring and it doesn't let you turn into a werewolf then that means you just need to become a werewolf first which I should oh you how to do in another video that I'm gonna link uh, in an annotation anyways uh, to do this quest this quest is basically it's involving the, the Daedric Prince her scene just like the, apparently the god of you know being insane and hunting or something uh, and you have to go to Falkreath, which is this town right here. Uh, it's uh, pretty close to the starting area. You can see this is where you start, and then this is river where the first town. You can just kind of meander right on down here, or right on down past the lake, and then come down here to Falkreath. And there is someone in the Falkreath jail that you need to talk to to trigger this quest. Yeah, Falkreath's seen better days. So we're going to go to the jail. I forget. Is it? Yes, yeah, it's down here. Just the guard, the jail, uh... Oh, right, it's the barracks, I think. I haven't been, I haven't been falling through too much, I've been mainly, uh, on, like, White Run and Rift and Windhelm, but I think it's down here. Yep, so we go down to the jail, and there's a prisoner in the jail you need to talk to. And uh, I'll say this up front, uh, I'm going to say it again later, but you need to side with the prisoner for everything. It is very important that you work with the prisoner in order to get the unlimited werewolf transformation. So you see him in here. Uh, he shouldn't be in here. That's, that's a horrible glitch. I've already done this quest, but that's pretty convenient for our purposes. Uh, there'll be like a, a human guy in here called Syndig, I think, or, or something something like that. And he'll, he'll ask you to help him because the god has cursed him to basically randomly turn into werewolf whenever, you, whenever he... Uh, has to. So then what you, uh, what he has is this thing, it's called the, the Ring of Hercene, except when you first see it, it'll be called the First Ring of Hercene, or the Cursed Ring of Hercene, sorry. And uh, what this does is it randomly turns him into a werewolf. It, as far as I can tell, it won't randomly turn you into a werewolf, it never did for me, I may not have just had it long enough, but it'd be pretty funny if it did, but I don't think it does. So his, his problem is that he, he basically, he tried to get this from Hercene, and Hercene screwed him over. So, uh, now he wants you, uh, to go, like, find Hercene's, you know, like, beast and, and try and kill it and appease it for him, uh, Hercene for him. So you tell, you, you, you agree to help him, and that's gonna send you, like, up, I wanna say up in, in these cliffs somewhere to just, just find this beast and, and kill it, and then Hercene's gonna ask you to go kill him, to, er, to go kill Syndig, which will, he he's here, and he wants you to go here. So just agree to go kill Syndig, uh, just agree to, but again, this is very important, when you get there, you are not going to kill Syndic, and I'll just show you the location you have to go to, but again, do not kill Syndic. It's very important that you side with the werewolf at all stages. If you're worried that Hercene's going to, like, terribly screw you over, if, uh, you piss him off, as I'll explain in a sec, he actually won't, so don't worry about it. But then you go to, uh, so we're going to, you go to the Blood and Man's Grotto, and there'll be a whole group of Hercene's hunters here. What you need to do is, you just need, you can talk to them or whatever, but you need to go... Just, you're just going to walk into the grotto until you see uh, Syndig or whatever his name is. I'm almost certain it's not Syndig. I feel like I'm thinking of like Syndig the Sailor or something, but he didn't, I don't know. Anyways, you go further into the, gro the grotto until you, he talks to you, at which point you need to tell him that you want to, uh, you're going to help him, and you'll, you guys will hunt down the, the hunters together. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So I don't know that person has orange hair. I'm pretty sure that there is no orange hair color. Oh, maybe I'm just seeing that wrong, or I missed it. Anyways, you're going to go in here, and there's, there's a whole bunch of hunters. And what you're going to do is you're just going to walk right down here. And again, I've already done this quest, so it's not going to happen for me. Uh, you walk down here, and he will be right up on that rock, I want to say, right up here somewhere. And then you tell him you're going to help him kill all the hunters. And then you're just, you're, you just run through here. Just gonna give a little demonstration. Uh, the, all of uh, Hercene's hunters will just be kind of running around. You're going to brutally murder them. Uh, if you want to have extra fun, you can do it as a werewolf, uh, like I did. It's, it's quite entertaining. 
And, uh, yeah, uh, I think I went the wrong way. But, uh, anyways, yeah, you kill everyone, and then he's going to thank you, and then uh, the quest will complete, but nothing will happen right then. Don't worry. That is what's supposed to happen. You have to leave the grotto, and as soon as you leave the grotto, her scene will be waiting for you. I believe the quest name is Ill Met by Moonlight, by the way. But uh, her scene will be waiting for you, and at this point, you still have the cursed ring. You, you can't take it off. Her scene's going to be outside the grotto. And you might think he'd be like, hey man, what the hell, Like, what, what are you doing? But no, he actually just laughs and, and compliments you and gives you the ring. But instead of the cursed ring, he removes it. He removes the curse from it, so you just have the ring of Hersey, which lets you, if you're a werewolf, uh, lets you transform whenever you want. And again, may let you transform if you're not a werewolf. I feel like you probably have to be a werewolf, but uh, and, uh, and then he he will just leave, and that gives you the uh, the other reward for this quest. If you side with Hersey, it's just you get you get a, like a, a decent piece of armor. But I I can't stress like how awesome this ring is if you're a werewolf. It gives you unlimited transformations, as I will not demonstrate. So the way it works is. Uh, it's actually a little weird. It adds an additional power next to the beast power, which is kind of inconvenient for reasons while, while, which I'll explain. But so, beast form you can still only do once a day. That's your normal werewolf thing that you get from doing the werewolf quest. But the ring of her scene, you equip it, you hit Z, you turn into a werewolf. And again, normal werewolf powers can only be used once a day. But the ring of her scene, I don't know if it's unlimited, but it's, I've used it like four or five times in a day. So now we're going to wait an hour, so I, I use, I'll use lose wolf form. Might have to be a bit longer, I'm not sure. Uh, yep, so here it goes. I'm back to being a dude. Uh, we go back to apparel. We equip the ring of her scene again. And this is where it gets a little annoying, because uh, you can see how beast form stays uh, hotkeyed to favorites. If I had a, f a number on it, it would stay hotkey, but because of the, the power is dependent on having the ring equipped, it'll lose its hotkey every time, uh, which is uh, a little annoying. Like, you, you can't have it really favorite. I don't think I'm still looking into that, but it's, it's a bit of a pain, but still not a huge deal. So I'll equip it again. And bam. Immediately after I come out of the world transformation, I can transform again. Immediately after. This is this is just insanely awesome, and then we'll we'll try it a third time just to hammer home the point that I'm not uh, like glitching with normal beast form or anything. This this is just how it actually works. It's so cool. And then uh, oops, sorry. We're gonna go to apparel. Ring of Hersene. Magic powers. Ring of Hersene. Again. So that's three times. <coughs> one immediately after the other. There appears to be no real limit to this, as I can tell, which makes it awesome for things like you can just turn into a werewolf if you don't want to fast travel, but you still want to see stuff, you can just turn into a werewolf and spread around, you know. It's fantastic. And again, so just to, to run down the, the gist of the quest. Uh, oops, sorry, I gotta wait to get a werewolf form so I can open the map. Just the quest is, uh, just transform here. There we are. Uh, just of the quest, uh, quick summary, go to Falkreath. Talk to Sindig or whatever the hell his name is uh, in the jail, the werewolf guy. Say you'll help him. Go here, kill the beast. Talk to her sign. Say you'll kill uh, Sindig. And again, his name is probably not Sindig, but we're going to call him that for purposes of this video. So then you go up to here to Bloated Man's Grotto. You go in. You talk to whatever hunters you find in on your way. Sindig will talk to you. Tell him that you're going to help him. You're going to kill the hunters. Go kill all the hunters. He'll thank you. Quest will end. That's normal. Leave. Make sure to leave. Then you come back, uh, you come outside, uh, right here, and her sign will give you the, uh, he'll, t he'll take the cursed ring and he'll make it just the ring, and then you get unlimited werewolf transformations. So yeah, that's how to get unlimited transformations uh, for being a werewolf. I will link my uh, Becoming a Werewolf Guide again if you haven't seen it. And now I'm going to show some very awesome uh, combat tips and tricks uh, that make being a werewolf just incredibly overpowered and fun.